hello guys welcome back to molat boy cheese if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for notifications well the second group game of the ongoing calf women's champions league kicked off yesterday with Wadi Degla against Malabo Kings in the first game of the day and Asaka ladies battle it out with AS Mande in the second game of the day so let's take a look at what went down in the games and we look ahead at what is going to go down today when group b kicked off their second game of the group it was a roller coaster event for the host who won their first game 3-1 against as Mande of mali and on the other hand malabo kings were able to bounce back from their opening game defeat they lost 3-1 to asaka's ladies of ghana Stephanie Drapogba Bongo finally get the chance to start a game for the Malabo Kings in this competition. She started from bench in their opening game defeat and she was able to prove her worth for the starting spot by using her physicality and techniques to trouble the defense of Wadi Degla. An effort that eventually paid off in the 13th minute when she opened the scoring from the sports kick. And she Again, in the 41 minutes, it is the number 11 Jesse once again when she added home a cross from Grace Balongo to double the lead for the Malabo Kings. While Wadi Degla are struggling to get back into the game and find their scoring boots, they are once again shocked by Grace Balongo effort, who finally scored the last goal of the game in the 58th minute. And the game ended 3-0 in favor of Malabo Kings. With this result, it means that Malabo Kings now have three points, same as the host Wadi Degla. Asaka's ladies' fairy tale continued when they faced AS Mande of Mali. If you recall, Asaka's won their first game against Malabo Kings 3-1. While AS Mande lost their first game 3 1 to the host Wadi Degla. Mande were forced to make an early sub 13 minutes into the game when their first goalkeeper, Aisa Tsu Diallo, injured her knee and unable to continue. An unfortunate event that gave room to the teenage goalkeeper, Sadio So, who actually tried her best playing her first game in this competition, but unfortunately, she considered three goals. Goals from familiar names as Evelyn Badu fires Asaka's ladies ahead 17 minutes into the game with a well-placed shot from close range. Two minutes of added time in the first half and there was a free kick for Asaka's ladies Pape Shua Ayekun stepped forward to take it and she fires on directly from a free kick when the teenage goalkeeper punches into her own net. A nightmare for the goalkeeper that saw Asaka's ladies take a 2-0 lead in the first half. Evelyn Bado rounded up the scoring for the night in the 59th minute. A game that ended 3-0 in favor of Asaka's ladies and they become the first team to register two wins from two games. If you recall, the two goal scorers for tonight were the goal scorers in their first game. Evelyn Badu scored two goals in the first game. Papeshua scored one, same as tonight, which means that Evelyn Badu now top the top scorer chart with four goals from two games as Asaka's ladies now top the group A ahead of Malabo Kings and Wadi Degla. Up next in the second group game of the Group B is the Venega Queens of Kenya versus Axfar of Morocco. And in the second game is Rivers Angels of Nigeria versus Mamelodi Sundance Ladies of South Africa.